So this is the Japan Autonomous Driving Challenge. Uh, we're on the Tokyo Ka University Kashiwa campus. The vehicles are designed, uh, every vehicle on the te every team's vehicle is the same vehicle. And this is a software competition. The vehicles have LiDAR that you can see on top. There are no cameras. They're just running on a simple laptop based on the data from the LiDAR. And you can see that they correctly, this particular vehicle, Team T14NA, I think, stopped for the box with the green ribbon on it. So far, every team has succeeded in that challenge. The next challenge is to drive through smoke. Uh, and we'll see how this team does. Some of the teams made it, some don't. It's the same uh, type of golf cart, the same LiDAR system, the same laptop, and then it's just who writes better code to use the information that they have to handle this challenge. Uh, some of the teams, I think I've seen one or two teams that have successfully driven through the smoke and most of the teams, the cars do not want to drive through that. So apparently the smoke throws the LiDAR off. Next there will be a uh, set of boxes that are left, right, left, and it has to go around them. And it looks like this is giving up on that challenge. It's not willing to make that turn. So I think two or three of the vehicles successfully navigate this challenge. But again, uh, don't jump at the conclusion that, oh, this is terrible because these things aren't as good as my Tesla. This is a different challenge. They are running a different set of hardware. This is like a challenge for software engineers. Some of the teams are student teams. Some of the teams are, as best I can tell, hobby engineers who are doing this as a hobby, aside from their regular work. Um, there's a number of corporate sponsors of the event, including Toyota, Honda, Nissan, and Amazon Web Services, and Mazda, uh, Toyota Gosei. I've seen a bunch of teams. This is organized by Japan Society of Automotive Engineers. So we'll see now if it's able to drive through the left, right, left box obstacle course. Uh, not sure how they're going to do with this. So there's, I think, 10 to 15 teams. I kind of lost count. We're on the Tokyo University campus in Kashiwa, Japan, in Chiba Prefecture, a bit north of, north of Tokyo, maybe northeast of Tokyo. And it is cold out. The camera's probably shaking because my hand is cold. And uh, it has been raining off and on. It is currently not raining. We're sending the vehicle. Is it going to make it? It's thinking about it. It's uh, okay. It's making this one. I, and it bailed out. So it appears they all seem to, when they bail out, they all seem to jerk hard to the side and bail out. And you can see there's a computer screen on the inside up above. And I don't think you can see it from here, but there's a laptop inside that the passenger seat occupant is looking at. I think they're going to give it one more try to try to handle this part of the event. After the three boxes, there's another set of boxes that's uh, on the right side farther across. And then there is a challenge of driving through some painted lines that so far I don't think anybody has completed. Um, I was asking whether they think they might switch to cameras next year. Uh, you know, given that Tesla has demonstrated that camera only appears to be a good approach. And uh, as far as I know, they haven't made that decision yet. Again, like I said, this is really like a software engineering challenge more than it is a like what hardware is the best hardware. <clears throat> but I think for an AI challenge, given everything that we know about the state of AI and the state of autonomous driving, that it would probably make more sense for Japan to look at a future where they use cameras only as an alternative. As, as far as I know, and I, I did ask this question, uh, there is no competition using camera only. There's no camera-based autonomous AI challenge. And this, this event is what's called the integration part of the, the uh, competition. There's a simulation part of the competition that I think already happened. Um, there's different, you know, components of this whole challenge, and this is, you know, different university labs and different teams compete. Uh, I think it's, you know, half fun. i definitely when I talk to the students in these kind of events, they uh, they really enjoy doing this type of uh, this kind of uh, event. Probably a lot better than their studies. 
<clears throat> a lot better than part-time job working at a convenience store. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the hell, here we go, it's gonna try again. Definitely not handling that well. So I think they're gonna bail out now and drive around and maybe they'll move on to try to the, uh, the painted line challenge.